One of the biggest festivals of Asian cinema in North America, the New York Asian Film Festival, has just come to a close. And among the offerings this year that got quite a bit of attention was a movie from Singapore called Look At Me. I surrender to you, Lord. Early on in Look At Me, we are taken to the fictional Holy Cross Baptist Church in Singapore. In attendance, twin brothers Sean and Ricky, skillfully played by the same actor. Ricky is gay in a country where homosexuality is still illegal. The brothers are outraged when the church founder expresses his distaste for the LGBTQ community and what he perceives as its agenda. There is a growing number of activists who are lobbying to legalize homosexuality. The brothers walk out of the service. One of them then decides to satirize the church pastor in a video. It's a narrative concocted by Ken Quek, who's been a provocative figure in Singapore cinema. My film, Look At Me, is about a teenage YouTuber who posts a uh, naughty and vitriolic uh, video uh, lambasting a televangelist a homophobic televangelist, everything goes to hell. <laughs> he goes to uh, prison, he, face, he faces a social media backlash, uh, his family come a lot of pressure uh, from the public, uh, his mother gets questioned in, in her workplace. Can I get an amen? amen. Ken Quek is a man with a strong social conscience. He both defends and criticizes his native Singapore. He is not gay, he has a wife and child, but he was motivated to make Look At Me because he firmly believes in LGBTQ rights. I think it's just uh, crazy that Singapore still has this rather archaic law which criminalizes homosexuality. So it was a, a, a topic that was timely. Uh, plus, this film um, doesn't only look at queer rights in Singapore. This film looks at um, the erosion of civil liberties, social media culture, cancel culture, things that I think uh, audiences everywhere uh, around the world uh, will find familiar. Sean, you're not making any sense. Ah, you're not listening to me. Look at me has not yet been rated by the authorities in Singapore. They may object to it. You barely eat and then your teacher calls me something all. Ten years ago, Ken Quek made an anthology, Sex, Violence, Family Values, which was banned because it was deemed to be obscene and insulting to local cultures. His first feature film in 2014, Unlucky Plaza, documented the plight of a Filipino immigrant who takes a desperate action. It's an underdog story, the kind that Ken Quek is drawn to. I don't set out, I think, to make movies that are provocative. Um, but I suddenly set out to make movies that are interesting and I set out to make movies that are resonant. Oh, please, will you just answer me one question, now, boy? Huh? Why? Ken Quek is keen that people appreciate the cinematic aspects of Look At Me. It is an ambitious work that is satire, family drama and noir thriller all rolled into one. But most noteworthy, perhaps, is its content and his daring to make a film in Singapore in which homophobia is seen as the enemy and responsible for the destruction of a loving family.